Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is Hassan Slim and today we're gonna cover the very important topic of the toolbox. We're gonna cover today the timer. What's the timer is? It executes the uh, block of section. It executes the specific block of code within a given specific time uh, uh, delay of time. Just like I wanna execute the specific code after a, after one second repeatedly so then i can use timer so let's get started all right i just create a new project solution new project and i'm gonna here i just type timer all right as you know it will take a little bit time to build up the solution for me all right After all, it's a very pleasant. In it's very pleasant today. Yeah. Okay. Why are you taking so much time? All right. Here is our Windows form application. That's the form. Now, I'm gonna drag timer. The most important thing of the timer is. whenever you you whenever you drag the timer it will not display on the form but it will show you in the bottom of the screen here you can see that's the timer there are some properties of timer you, that you can see over there yep you have to enable the timer to start it i make it true interval 100 millisecond okay if I turn it to 10 millisecond, then that's the name of the timer and modify is private. Alright, I just click on time timer, double click on timer and it's called section is right over there. Now, to view the timer function. I'm gonna drag label text label where is the label uh, all right all right label is over there I just drag the label and the name of that label is label one I will just what I wanna do that I type int i is equal to zero all right all right now what i'm gonna do i just write over there label one dot text is equal to i and here i'm gonna do i plus plus all right all right i have to convert it to string Now when I start the program, what happened? Let's see. You know it will take a little bit of time to build up the solution. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna start it. Come on, hurry up. Here is the program. Here you can see it's taxi incrementing very fastly or swiftly now hope you understand now let me change the properties of this timer here's the timer and I'm gonna convert it again to 100 millisecond and then and now let me change the properties of that so it will be more clear to you all right I'm just gonna increase the size of text so you can easily view that. Alright. Now when I start the program, 
after each hundred millisecond the text is incremented now you can see now hope you understand what's the purpose of timer sometimes the people uh, say that it is an alternative of for loop but it's not an alternative of any kind of loop it has its own properties and function one thing that I can do is if I just place plus sign or a concatenation sign it will show up the previous value and concatenate the next incremented value now here you can see hope you understand what's the purpose of that by using timer you can do anything in the repeating re you can do anything repeatingly in the repeating way so we will use it further don't forget to subscribe stay tuned thank you